Hey, what's up guys, Aaron Bennett. In this video, I'm gonna go over a couple things Celsius Network related. The first, I'm gonna go over the part two of the series, a montage of clips where Alex Mashinsky was misrepresenting Celsius Network. I'm also gonna cover some of the letters and some of the submissions into the court, and there are a ton of them. There are so many. I picked out maybe eight of them to kind of go over just a little bit. So these are just people like you and I, like I said in my last video, voicing their concerns. So I am super glad to see all of these submissions. And again, I will cover a couple of these at the end of the video. And I'm also gonna cover this story, which a lot of people mentioned in their letter. Basically, this is a blog post from June 7th from Celsius Network, essentially saying, hey, everything is good. There's no concerns here with Celsius. And this is what, like five or six days before they froze the withdrawals. So a lot of people are saying, hey, they gave false information. And this is just one of those examples. So let me start out by playing this video for you guys live. And we will go from there. What happens if there was a run on Celsius, like there would be on a run on a bank? A run on a bank cannot happen at Celsius because Celsius never lends more than what it has. So at any moment, we always have enough coins and enough a uh, collateral and so on to return all the assets uh to all of our users uh that's hard to watch obviously completely not true this is april 30th 2021 so a little over a year ago saying that a run on the bank literally cannot happen they always have enough crypto on hand liquid crypto to pay back everybody in whole because they are doing over collateralized loans and they didn't mention, Alex didn't mention doing anything DGEN and DeFi, which we know they did now. No bank in the world can do that for you because they never have enough assets to return for you if there is a run on the bank. So what he said about no bank could sustain a run on the bank, that's true. So myself and other people, we were listening to Alex being like, well, what he's saying about normal banks is true and how he's saying, well, they are more capitalized and better funded than normal banks. He was saying everything right to convince us that they indeed had all the liquidity needed to repay everybody in whole, even on the same day, right? A run on the banks cannot happen with Celsius. Wow. Any one real person who had any withdrawal problem. And this is June 10th of this year saying, find me one person that had a withdrawal problem. Alex is not looking good here. I think he knows the end is near, yet he is still saying everything is fine. Again, two or three days before the freeze. Exactly. So just read the fine print and then you'll find out that you're already at the right place. It was hard to find an exit until finally I found Celsius. Always worrying about where money was gonna come from and not knowing if we were gonna eat the next day. So videos like that are hard to watch. And I know a lot of you guys watching are in the same position. And I'm going to get to some of those letters that I marked off and did a couple highlights a little bit later, uh, talking about people's stories. So if you are like this woman who's basically like, hey, I was using Celsius to basically live, know that you are not alone there. Provide the most transparency out of anybody in crypto. Celsius publishes their numbers every week. Please publish your right. numbers, right? Ask them for their numbers, so, honestly. Yeah, exactly. Like none of them are publishing anything. So that's true that no other companies were publishing their weekly numbers. Alex was accurate with that statement, but obviously everything else he's saying about them being the most transparent, being the most public, basically having no secrets, nothing to hide. Obviously we know now that that was bullshit. Bitcoin pays right. dividend, price Celsius. How does Bitcoin 6 .2%, pay a dividend? 6.2% Bitcoin dividend. dividend. Because we earn yield. How do you earn what? yield on Bitcoin? What do you do well, to generate I'm, income look, on that Bitcoin? I'm happy to spend an hour with you. Yeah, you're uh, trading it. You've got to be taking health. tremendous amount of risk. The Bitcoin no, itself it, doesn't generate any yield. It's an amazing opportunity for people to unbank themselves, right? Take advantage yeah, of this you know, market. You know who also had an amazing opportunity? Bernie Madoff had okay. an amazing opportunity right, too. Alex. Yeah. So that's a rough interview, especially looking back on it now with Peter Schiff. I remember when that came out, we were basically at the peak of the market, mid-November. A little later in that interview, he says, gold earns yield. You can earn yield on your gold. And Peter Schiff is like, how? The only way to earn yield is by taking risk. And Alex did not want to say, yeah, you're right. We are taking risk, right? He should have said, 
we are taking risks and we have a whole risk department team that is supposedly managing these risks. Obviously now realizing that their risk management team was not all that they said they were. He should have said, yeah, we are taking risks. At least that would have been more truthful. The people are talking about these things, but when you read the fine print, you'll find out that you're earning it in sh some shit coin. Here, there's no hidden print. It's Celsius, yeah. right? No fees, just yield. Just yield, no fine print. Ugh. The Celsius business model would ever implode on itself. Many people use this just as a safe place to store uh, coins. Like, uh, people who have that experience realize, gosh, you know, really the safest place for me to store my coins is on Celsius. So. All right, well, that's it for the video. Honestly, I mean, it would not take me that long to put together a montage of other clips. You just go through any AMA and any time that Alex has some time to talk, he always kind of repeats these same things. He repeats the same things over and over again in every AMA. All the things that, you know, basically misled myself and most of you guys watching. So let me dive through some of these stories in no particular order. This was a hard one to see. Basically, this person, Sean Moran, said, I've lost my farm here in Ireland. Family are left homeless. I'm mentally unstable. Family are distraught with my decisions of trusting Celsius and promising them a better future. This one talking about the deceptive marketing tactics of Celsius, gambling away people's money. I wrote crime on the top of this one. A lot of you guys already know this, but if you don't, if you take a look at this guy's name, Thomas D. Fiore, and you take a look at gangstersinc.org and the bona fide crime family acting boss, Thomas D. Fiore. It is assumed that this is the same Thomas D. Fiore. I cannot confirm that. And most likely, he was a depositor with Celsius. This next one said Alex reiterated time and time again on Twitter and on these AMAs that the company was over collateralized. That is true. And that should anything go wrong, they have more than enough money to make all depositors whole. Yes, Alex did say that time and time again. It goes on to say Alex also started that he himself would personally compensate investors to make them whole if ever needed. This guy also mentions the fact that the whole custody and earn thing that happened April 15th, he thinks that this was intentionally misleading to trap non-accredited investors into continuing to keep their funds with Celsius. Because what he's referring to is that when people in the US or non-accredited investors in the US had that custody account, Account, it said, hey, if you transfer any money out of your earn account and into custody, if you're not accredited, you can never transfer that back into your earn account. It will never earn yield again. And he's saying that he thinks this was a trap. This next one basically said, I signed up with Celsius due to the advertised fact that you can earn interest in crypto with minimal risk through over collateralized loans. That is exactly what we were all told. This next letter said, quotes that were said every week for over a year, quote, the worst thing that can happen is that everyone gets their coins back. I have literally heard that so many times from Alex's mouth. When I read this, I was like, yes, Alex definitely said that. The worst thing that happens is you get your coins back. I remember that, I'm sure it's in AMAs. And man, I mean, these are reasons why myself and everybody, we decided to keep our money and we brought more crypto into Celsius. Other things that Celsius said, they're safer than holding your money at the bank. Celsius will take full responsibility and will make sure depositors are always prioritized. Celsius is more regulatory compliant than all of its competitors. These are things that Alex said all the freaking time. $2 billion on their balance sheet, zero risk in depositing your crypto coins, etc., etc. Next, this person said Celsius led me to believe they were insured for any losses. This next person said they only invested to Celsius a service because Alex has continuously stated every Friday that they are secure, such as Celsius is an alternative to conventional banks. They are safer than banks. They had over $2 billion in their balance sheet. They raised $750 million to secure customer assets if something goes wrong. And they continuously assured that the funds are safe. I agree with everything said here. This next letter said they promised the community that our funds were safe and not being used in any risky lending. Every week during his AMAs, he promised that Celsius had funds to recover all the user assets and that under no circumstances were our funds at risk. He then says, I have elderly parents whom I care for, 
and the assets currently held in Celsius is to help them live out their last years in comfort. I don't know why me reading this right now is making me really upset because like so many people were trusting um, Celsius and everything Alex said. And, you know, Danielle, if you're reading this or watching this, know that, um, you know, you're not alone. And, and so many other people do the same thing. And this is really pisses me off. So <laughs> the next letter, uh, this one is really hard to read too, because as you scroll down, you can see, I guess, a sonogram or a scan of the baby. And essentially, I'm expecting my third child in two and a half months and need the money to pay for the doctor, hospitals, and expenses. Also, my aunt is seriously ill and needs my financial support for her major operation. I'm worried that my stress due to Celsius's situation will affect the health of my unborn child. She also asks that Celsius's request for their 120 days of exclusivity is not in the best interest of the community and the depositors. Basically, what this means is that no other plans can be put forth at the moment. Celsius has 120 days in order to basically see if their plan goes through. I'm not saying the right words here, but they basically have exclusivity rights for the next, I guess, four months. And she's saying, and a lot of other people wrote in letters the same thing, basically like, hey, judge, please strike down this request, like take this down. We need other people, not just ones that Alex put forth, other plans, like maybe even Simon Dixon's plan or anybody else that has a plan. We need other plans to come forth. We don't trust Celsius. We don't trust the management team there. They've screwed us in the past. They lied to us. Why would we think that anything they would come up with now would be anything other than deception? And she's saying the same thing. And this last one, I wrote yes on it because it was very well put together. It seems like whoever wrote this has written documents before, summarizing their points, then going into each point one at a time. So I will include this one below if you want to check it out. But basically, here are the points he said. Celsius and Alex did not adequately inform users of the degree of financial risk that was taken with their crypto deposits to generate yield. 100%. And that was really bad. The marketing tactics used by Celsius and Alex were misleading and outright lies in many cases. And that I agree with as well. Very misleading. Alex needs to be removed from his position as CEO if the company is to have any sort of future. And I am beginning to believe this more and more because who is going to trust Celsius with Alex at the helm from now on. Whether or not Alex started Celsius in order to do what he did, or whether things just got out of hand, and you know what I believe is basically things grew too quickly, and one thing led to another, one white lie kind of led into the next, and all of a sudden we ended up in this position where we are right now. Whether or not this was all intentional from the start or not doesn't matter at this point. Nobody's going to want to put money with Celsius after reading all the court documents after everything that's coming out being exposed, what he was saying versus what was actually happening. So for Celsius to continue, if that name is to continue, which I don't really know if it is right now, Alex, I don't believe, is going to be able to leave this company. And number four, making depositors whole must be prioritized 1 million percent. And this one highlighted section said, the yield paid in our crypto deposits were generated with over collateralized lending. That was what we were told on the AMAs and all the interviews. Now, I do remember that this year and maybe towards the end of last year, Alex would once in a while mention DeFi. Now, they talked about they had Celsius X, which obviously didn't really amount to much. Alex did say that, yeah, we do dabble in DeFi, but then he would say stuff like this. He would say, why would you go ahead and try DeFi on your own when you are most likely going to get wrecked? We at Celsius have an entire team, a team just on examining the safety of these DeFi protocols, a team larger than often the entire team at some of these other crypto companies or some of these DeFi projects. So why would you trust yourself? Rather, trust us because we are experts, right? We are going to comb through the entire contract to make sure there's no deception, to make sure you're not going to get rug pulled. And that's what he said. So Alex 
was great at selling it. You know, we said, yeah, we're in DeFi, we're doing some DeFi. We obviously didn't know the extent of their risk taking. We didn't know how much loans they had out. We didn't know how much leverage they had. But I will say that, yes, he was talking about DeFi, but again, he made it seem like you're an idiot trying to do it on your own. Trust us, we're the experts. All right, so to finish off the video, we can take a look at the sell price. Right now, this is still being traded kind of like a meme coin. I mean, the thing is, is that so much of the sell token is completely frozen because they're in bankruptcy. All that sell token is frozen right now and it could be frozen for months. So what this means is that there is a limited amount of sell token floating around on the open market. Now, I am not the expert on the sell short squeeze, which you may have heard about, and I don't really like talking about it and promoting it because I'm not quite sure how legal it is to be promoting a short squeeze. So I am in no way promoting it, but there are people trying to short squeeze sell token, basically taking liquidity off of FTX, bringing them to like a private wallet like Uniswap and basically punishing these people that are shorting the token. Again, not promoting it, very, very risky because if Celsius tanks as a company, then I mean, sell token literally is just a meme token with nothing backing it. So that could happen, very, very risky, but there is a liquidity crunch with sell token. So we will see what happens with that. And I'll finish this video really quick talking about this blog post from Celsius that came out just a couple days before the freezing of the assets, basically reassuring everybody that, hey, everything is fine. We're online 24 seven. They have one of the best risk management teams in the world. Celsius is prepared. They talk about the FUD and the spreading of misinformation and confusion on Twitter and YouTube. They basically say, hey, we're going to spend our time actually building Celsius so you can have financial freedom rather than swatting away these false claims. They then talked about the Luna UST peg and they acted swiftly to protect the customers. Celsius continues to process withdrawals without delay. And here, which is the kicker, Celsius has the reserves and more than enough ETH to meet obligations as dictated by our comprehensive liquidity risk management framework. So that is the blog post that was sent a week or so before they locked withdrawals. Basically saying, hey, if you have any fears, don't have those fears. We're fine. There are no problems. And that is obviously a huge issue. And I'll just finish the video with this. What a lot of people are hoping for is that they throw out or the court throws out the terms of service, basically saying that when we deposited our crypto, it became Celsius's crypto. It's no longer ours. It belongs to Celsius because what Alex was saying for years contradicted everything that was actually going on. So some people are hoping I don't know the right term, maybe it's fraud, maybe it's misrepresentation, but basically because the corporate team was lying publicly, including in their blog posts, in their tweets, basically spreading this misinformation, ironically, basically reassuring people of things that were not true in Celsius, right? About their insane liquidity, that they have no issues, full transparency, right? Everything I talked about in this video, because they were obviously lying and we can prove that, then their terms of service has to go out the window. Basically, it's no longer valid. So that's what a lot of people are hoping for. And that may work. You know, I'm not a lawyer, but that could be something that could happen. Basically, you guys were lying and therefore we're not going to treat your depositors crypto as Celsius as crypto. And maybe that'll help us get more of our crypto back. So that is one of the things I am holding on to and I will be following and obviously I'll be sharing with you guys. So guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And if you have not already subscribed and if you want to catch the latest Celsius info, make sure to tap that little subscribe button. All right, guys, till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.